So the story of Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina Ismail or Sayyidina Ishaq, and I haven't heard that in your comments, or Sayyidina Ishaq. Some of you, if you don't know, you should know that in terms of who was offered to sacrifice, most don't know that, but our ulama know that, that in the Islamic uh, tradition of that from the Sahaba time, there were two opinions as who was offered in sacrifice. Some say Sayyiduna Ismail, some say Sayyiduna Ishaq, and the majority of the scholars are that it is Sayyiduna Ishaq, in case you do not know opposite and the majority of the ulama it is that in accordance with what the ulama reported it is Sayyiduna Ishaq the beautiful thing here is in the Quran in our deen interestingly Allah did not mention explicitly the name of the one offered the Jews and the Christians have always said it is Ishaq and the Muslims later on, we, most of us nowadays, say it is Ismail alayhi salam jamian. But why didn't Allah Azzawajal mention the name explicitly? And put it in ways that may leave you open to understand either Ismail or Ishaq. That's why the ulama differed. And there are texts also that they use rahimahullah ta'ala to come to either conclusion. Subhanallah, of the hikmah in that is it is not important. It's not about race. This is not about gender. This is not about nation. This is about the lesson to be drawn from that. What was communicated to us is not so that the Arabs will be bombastic about the fact that the one offered was from them, nor is it, you know, Ishaq so that the Hebrews and the Jews would be bombastic about the fact that the one offered and chosen to be offered was from them. No. Perhaps because in history it has become that way, maybe. Allah Azza wa Jal in his wisdom conceals the name. It is not about the name. It is not about that he was an Arab or that he was a Hebrew or a Jew. It is about the lesson drawn from that. Both are beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal. Sayyiduna Ishaq and Sayyiduna Ismail. The important thing is the lesson to be drawn from that. Both children of Ibrahim alayhi wa ala rasulina salatu wassalam. And the lesson to be drawn from that as we are learning how to liberate our lives, how to liberate our hearts in our lives from the yokes of our nufus. So it is about not the person that it is Ishaq or Ismail. It's not about, you know, igniting more and more of the nationalistic or racist or racial attitudes in us. Perhaps that's why Allah in the Quran concealed the name. فَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِغُلَامٍ حَلِيمٍ didn't tell you. He gave you a character. So he, he didn't give you. His name is not Ismail, not Ishaq in the ayah. His name is what? His character. Halim. As though Allah is telling us, this is what I want you to learn. His name is Halim. It's not about Ishaq or Ismail. It's about their character. But this character. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Having said that, this story, this wonderful story,
story of Sayyidina Ibrahim and his son or his sons, alayhim salam, all of them, is about again liberating 